Well, it appears hope is starting to shine through the loss of New Mexico State Police Officer Justin Hare. And it's coming from a local pastor who knows and who loves the Hare family and has confidence in Officer Hare's legacy. There are so many tributes and donations, but that pastor and his church members are really coming face to face with the family shouldering so much pain. They say they will be waiting to help and support the Hare family in whatever way they can for however long necessary. Julie Frendak met with a pastor today. Julie. Well, Pastor Kurt Miller says a church is supposed to be a family, and that's exactly what East Mountain Cowboy Church has become over the past five years. He says he can't remember the, a time the Hares haven't given back to the church, and now it's time for the rest of the members to return the favor. Kurt Miller helped start East Mountain Cowboy Church five years ago and hasn't looked back. We say that we're the perfect church for those who aren't and we're all train wrecks, you know. His weekly message mirrors a Western way of life with a come as you are message. Real relational, I'm, you know, I'm not your typical pastor. I, you know, I'm, I'm more of a teacher and a communicator. He's been teaching and communicating with Terry and Jim Hare since the beginning. Jim has played a big role in the church's annual rodeos for kids and Terry volunteers in other ways. We're five years old as a church and uh, they've been there. I can't remember them not being there. Now it's his turn to be there for them. He found out about their son, Officer Justin Hare's death, hours after it happened Friday. When I found out, I've got two daughters and grandkids, and 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 I thought, what would I do? And I just couldn't put words to what I would do. And the only thing that we could really do was, you know, just uh, as they ask us to do, is to pray for them. Prayers have been coming from hundreds of people in the church community. We'll walk the journey with them and be there to encourage them and help them and, you know, do what we can for them. And then we're going to let them tell us. Pastor Miller says he only met Officer Hare a few times, but his impression stuck. You know, what happened to Justin, you know, yeah, it was criminal and yeah, it was humane, but it was more than that. It was just that flat out evil, just flat out evil what this guy did. Beyond the prayers, Pastor Miller has hope for Hare's legacy. The legacy of Justin is, is going to live on because on that day, he was the ultimate Good Samaritan. He really was. The legacy of, of Justin uh, will make change and make a difference in not only in the law enforcement industry, but also in people's lives. Pastor Miller says he'll speak briefly at Officer Hare's funeral service and the church community again will be helping the family in any way it can over the next few weeks. Trevor. All right, Julie, great to see them giving back in that way. Well, the public is invited to say final goodbyes to Officer Hare at his funeral next Wednesday. That is set to take place on March 27th at 11 in the morning at Legacy Church in Albuquerque. If you want to donate flowers, well, you can do so by contacting Daniel's Family Funeral Services in Rio Rancho. Also ahead of that funeral, New Mexico State Police will be holding a candlelight vigil that is set for tomorrow evening at the department's Tucumcari office. It begins at 730. And there is a way you can help support Officer Harris family tomorrow. We're going to be teaming up with the 1082 organization for a pay it forward hotline. All you have to do is join us in our newscast from 5 to 7 tomorrow evening. That's when we'll share the hotline phone numbers to call. Representatives from 1082 will be here to take your donations.